There are hundreds of certification lists online, but most of them that repeat the same generic advice. Now, as a cybersecurity recruiter and career coach who speaks with hiring managers all the time, I can tell you there are only a few certifications that consistently help beginners get interviews. Today, I'm giving you the certifications that are worth taking in 2026 and why they matter from a deployer's perspective. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Luke and I help people break into cybersecurity with practical recruiter-backed advice. I've spent more than 14 years recruiting across different parts of the industry. So this list is based on what actually matters to employers. Let's get started with the certification that gives you the strongest technical foundation. Number one, the CompTIA Network Plus. Network Plus is one of the most underrated certifications for beginners, but it is one of the most valuable. Now, why does this matter? Well, it teaches you how networks actually work. It gives you the language and fundamentals you will use every cyber role that you do. It makes learning Security Plus much easier, which could well be your next step, which we'll get to. It reduces the learning curve where you start working with logs, packets, and scene tools. Now, from a recruiter's perspective, I can tell you that hiring managers often tell me that beginners struggle with basic networking. It's something that comes up more than you would think. So if you can understand how systems talk to each other, how traffic flows and how packets move, you instantly become easier to train. Now, the Network Plus makes you a stronger beginner than most people applying for entry-level roles. So if you have no technical background, this is the best first certification for you. Okay, moving on to certification number two, the CompTIA Security Plus. Now, this continues to be the strongest entry point for beginners who want to move into cybersecurity roles. It gives you a full understanding of core security concepts. It is recognized and trusted by high managers globally. It really is the gold standard. It's the one that I recommend highly and a must really if you're looking to get into cybersecurity. It gives recruiters confidence that you can understand basic alerts and threats. And the more confident us recruiters feel, the more likely we are to represent you and send you off to clients. It also prepares you far more for advanced cyber certifications that you may take down the line. Now, once again, from a recruiter's perspective, when companies ask for an entry-level candidate, Security Plus is still the most common baseline. It will not get you a job by itself, but it will increase your chances of getting shortlist. Trust me there. Now, the Network Plus and the Security Plus is one of the best foundations for anyone starting their cyber journey. And if you're currently looking which certification to start with, these two are the first ones I recommend doing. Okay, moving on to certification number three, the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. Now, this is a great option for beginners, especially if you want a more guided and hands-on learning experience. It includes practical labs and real world tasks. It helps people move in from other industries and it helps you build confidence. So if you're looking to move from one industry to another, I do recommend this. It is a good one to do. It will help build your confidence and it will help you make that step. It teaches blue team basics in a very structured way and it gives you more practical evidence than most beginner courses. Now, from a recruiter perspective, when I submit candidates who have completed the Google certificate, I can talk about the hands-on experience they gained. So this is helpful for people without a technical background because it shows action, not just theory. It works well alongside the Security Plus or as an alternative if you prefer a more slow lower structured path. Now, I often get asked which one to take, the Security Plus or the Google Cybersecurity. My answer is either is fine, both is great. However, if you could do one and had to choose, then I would recommend the CompTIA Security Plus. And once again, that's not saying I wouldn't do the Google, but if you could only do one, I would always still go to the Security Plus. Out of all the certifications, this one is still one of the most highly rated by hiring managers. Okay, certification number four, AWS or Azure Security Specialty. Now, cloud security skills are in demand everywhere. Companies are moving everything to the cloud and they need people who understand stand how to secure it. So why does this matter? Well, it proves you understand IAM, login, network controls. It positions you for roles that are growing the fastest. Cloud security is one of the most in-demand roles and will continue to be so. It shows you have real modern skills rather than just old school theory. And it gives you a competitive advantage over other beginners who don't have this skill or this certification. Now, from a recruiter's perspective, cloud security, I can tell you, is one of the first thing hiring managers talk about at the moment. If you have a cloud 
cloud certification, you instantly stand out. Even a junior level understanding of cloud security makes you far more valuable to employers. So if you want long-term skill growth and high salary potential, cloud is often the path to go. And it's something that I would definitely consider if you're breaking into cybersecurity and you're wondering what your next path might be. And certification number five, the CompTIA CYSA Plus or the GIAC. These are excellent mid-level certifications that prove you can do real defensive work. Well, you may ask why they matter. Well, they go deeper than beginner content. They show you can investigate incidents and analyze threats. They help you step into tier one and tier two SOC roles, and they demonstrate readiness for hands-on defensive positions. The CYSA Plus is affordable and well-rounded, and the GCIH is highly respected and focuses on incident handling. Now, from a recruiter's perspective, hiring managers love both these certifications because they show you are more than a beginner. If Security Plus builds your foundation, then the CYSA or the GCIA shows you can operate in real environments. These are the certifications that will help you move beyond entry level. So if you've broken into cybersecurity, you've got your Network Plus, you've got your Security Plus, maybe you're in an entry level role, then you can look at these certifications. I'm not telling you you need to do them before you break in. That's not what I'm saying. Now, how to decide your path? Well, here is the simplest way to choose which certifications to take next. If you're brand new to cyber, Start with Network Plus, then Security Plus. You could add the Google Cyber Security Certificate as well, or possibly do this on the side whilst you're working another job. But I would definitely do the Network and the Security Plus. Now, if you want to future-proof your skills, add a Cloud Security Certification. Or if you're specifically looking to go into cloud, then obviously look at this. If your goal is SOC or Blue Team, the Security Plus, then once you're in, you can then look at the CYSA Plus or the GCIH. Now, I appreciate there are other strong certifications out there, but I can't obviously go into all of them now. If there is a particular certification that you would like me to go in more detail, let me know in the comments below. Also comment on what you plan to take in 2026. I'm really keen to know. Let's get a conversation going. I really hope this video has helped you. And if it has, remember to like and consider subscribing to the channel and join our growing community. I really appreciate everyone's comments and I love helping people in their cyber journeys. As always, keep leveling up your career. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next video.